it's like uh, art war. We're we're battling out amongst each other. We put on 13 pieces on eBay for $13.13 each or something that adds up to 13. And it's whoever sells the most wins or sometimes we all argue about who the winner is at the end of it all. There seems to be a lot of controversy about who won the Friday the 13th challenge. It looked at the end there between Manic Mark and Red Mud. Red Mud Got her about 250 bucks or so. He had one for 80 bucks that didn't sell, didn't make the reserve, but if he added that 80 bucks onto the 250, he would have gone way over $300 and that would have put him in the lead ahead of Manic Mark. But if you don't count that 80, because he didn't sell it, the money he did get was about 250. Manic Mark's was over $300 but Manic Mark only put 12 pieces up and the rules are you're supposed to put 13 pieces up so you can see it's ended in controversy but today I'm here to clear up all the controversy and tell you who won the Friday the 13th challenge. This January the artists all put their pieces in and the winner of the challenge is Victor! <laughs> Winner! Ready, Mark! You should learn to count the 13. Ready, Mark! You should have burnt that painting with the light of fluid. No good keeping it. Hey! Chicken George! You should have been focusing more on tigers! And on monkeys? That's how you lost. Yes, folks. This is what a winner looks like. You guys should have been keeping your eye on the tiger. If we got from underneath you and ah! Yes, folks, once again, Australia keeps the title. We are the winners. We are the champions. Oh, look out! April! We'll be there again! And we'll be coming after you!